Good morning, sleepy doggy. <laughs> Happy Sunday, you guys. It's gonna be the best day. It's already like so sunny and warm today. I think it's gonna be 60 and sunny. It's gonna feel like spring. I am like so excited for the day. Just because of the weather. Also, you guys, I have to tell you another reason I'm feeling so good today. I'm gonna be in the best mood is because I have been so sleep deprived recently. I just feel like for many nights in a row, I was not sleeping enough, staying up way too late, whatever. And I'm so happy last night. I was feeling so sleepy. I was like, I know I'm going to sleep really well. So I was like, Max, sorry. I don't know why I stay up late. Like, you know the tired when I would be trying to like have a conversation with him and tell him something. And I feel like I would just barely be able to like get a sentence out. I'm like, I need to go to bed. Because I was like, normally I stay up late. We like watch time or whatever. But I'm like, it is 9.45. My eyes cannot stay open. Like, I need to get in bed. And I was shocked because I was asleep by like 10, 10, 15, which is like early for me. And then I, we had an alarm for like 7.30 because Max had practice this morning. And I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll be up by then anyway. Like nine hours would be 7 a.m. At 7.30, he was like, oh, you keep sleeping. Like you seem really tired. Like I like barely woke up. I slept until almost nine o'clock. Look, I literally, last night, I put on my Garmin watch. I haven't worn it in a minute, but I put it on because I was like, I wanted to tell me that I slept really well and show me about my sleep because I know I'm going to sleep a while. And every day I'd wake up, it would be like poor, horrible, bad, 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 bad. You sleep horribly, you wake up so much. I'm like, but, so I wanted it to say that. Look at what my watch says. 10 hours, 36 minutes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All the purple is the time I was awake. I did feel like I kept waking up, but yeah. Thank goodness, I needed it. So today is gonna be a great day, is what I'm trying to say. Cause I slept so long to the point that I'm like, I feel like I'm dehydrated now. And so I was just laying there for 11 hours. That is like half a day, but like, Boy, I needed it. I feel like I was having some like three hour, four hour nights and then you just feel like you're losing your mind, so. <laughs> also, I have to say, this Garmin watch, I really love it. It gives you so much like insight for sleeping and working out and stuff, but I just feel like, I mean, you guys know my vibe. It's very like gold jewelry, like colorful. I don't know, I just feel like the all black. I should have gotten the white one. I'm realizing I just thought the black was like really sporty. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I really like this. I feel like when I'm in my workout era, I wear it more. But I said to some people that like the aura ring could be a really good idea for my birthday gift. So we'll see if I get one of those. Because don't you just think, I feel like I could see me wearing like a gold ring over here. Going with all my other jewelry more than like a watch. You know, maybe I'll wear it today and see if it tells me that I'm recovering and all that. Because that's a whole other thing, you guys. We have to like catch up so much has been going on i haven't filmed in like a week i gotta fill you in but i don't want to bore anyone but yeah maybe i'll go get changed for the day side note this pj set like light pink stripe pj set you guys saw when it was in new jersey i got it at the mall also got it in the blue stripe as well it's free people kind of expensive but it's been my most favorite pj set i've been wearing this in the blue like every night they're just like oversized slouchy comfy i literally wore the blue striped pants in public as like an outfit in boston and everyone loved them they're like where are those pants from i'm like I think they're like lounge pj pants but i wore them with like a gray sweater and like blue sambas to talk to and you guys loved and this is like the same pants but in pink so yeah i can leave this we love that let me change and wake up for a second, then I'll fill you in on what's been going on. Look who it is! Look who's decided to wake up this sleepy Sunday morning. Good morning! Alright, this is what I'm thinking for the after today. Just comfy sweatshirt from Set Active. And these new pink leggings I got at Dick's, I just feel like, are so fun and colorful. Since it's going to be nice and sunny today. If you can tell, I'm in the spring vibe over here. And then for underneath, I was thinking this bralette over here, but now I'm actually thinking this one, you guys. This has been my most 
recent fave for every day, just this t-shirt bra. These are actually all from Skims, all of my bras. The only bras I wear, my most favorite. Thank you so much, Skims, for sponsoring this video, working for me on this video, because really my Skims obsession started with the Fits Everybody thong, I would say. They're the only thongs I wear, they're the best, and then it progressed to the bras, and I'm like, where have I been? These are so worth the hype. I've been missing out, so if you guys haven't tried out Skims bras, could not recommend enough. Literally the only bras that I wear. I just do the ochre color, because I find that's the best nude like for my skin tone, but they have so many different shades to choose from, and I just cannot express how comfy these are. They are such good quality. I've worn all of these, you know, like a hundred times each, and they look amazing. This bralette, the Fits Everybody, Fits Everybody bralette, is obviously just very light support, which I was gonna do, but this is also more of like a light support, but it's just like cushiony, soft, wireless, and then this is their Fits Everybody push-up bra, which is also like an everyday, more when I'm out and about, but I'm just gonna be comfy, so I'm gonna throw this on. And this is the wireless form t-shirt bra, just the perfect amount of support. I love that the straps are adjustable. It's just comfortable all day long. Here's what it looks like under my outfit. Just the perfect amount of support. I know their bras are available in sizes 30A through 46H and they also have free shipping on orders over $75. So you can shop Skims bras at skims.com slash Gretchen. I'll have them linked down below in the description and after you place your order make sure to let them know I sent you. I think you can just in the little drop down menu after put in Gretchen or whatever. So again, skims link down below. Hello you guys. <laughs> I feel like whenever I want to talk about something quick sitting over here during my breakfast, I end up talking for like 10 minutes and I just like really chat with you guys, but I don't want to take too much. I want to be concise and brief here. I gotta fill you guys in. So, well, first of all, I should tell you, I just took Brody on a quick little morning stroll as we do, and it's already sunny and so nice, and I feel like it's gonna keep getting warmer. Like, I was thinking, I honestly probably could wear shorts today. I might be pushing a little bit, like 60, right? It's like above 50 something. I'm like, woo, shorts, but maybe not. Still, like, when it's in the sun, you feel warm enough like you could, but then in the shade, it's like, yeah. Anyway, that was that. Just made my little oatmeal like what I saw. I'm gonna let it cool for a sec. Okay, first things first. I guess we'll start with sad news and get sadder. <laughs> no, okay. So, yeah, really to fill you in this past week, since I've gotten back from Boston, I haven't filmed it all because right when I got back from Boston, I was dealing with a lot of pain and I really hurt myself. So I kind of just want to fill you guys in, keep up to speed, but also teach you a lesson. Don't be dumb like me. Long story short, I mean, I know it was just like an overuse kind of thing, pulled muscle kind of thing, but I cannot even begin to describe to you how much pain I was in. I'm taking some vitamin C right now. We're gonna multitask. You guys, when I was in Boston, I was there for three or four days, I took four workout classes in like my four days there, which I'm like, obviously I'm fine, I can handle it. When there are workout classes I haven't been to in a while, I'm not in that kind of shape anymore. I didn't think about the fact that I could like legit hurt myself. And I did a lot of like the sculpt, heated yoga weight classes um, at Core Power and Hotbox. And then I also did Soul Cycle, And all of them I would say are pretty high intensity. And I'm just so mad at myself looking back because I'm like, of course I can wake up at 6.45, 7 a.m., roll out of bed after sleeping for five hours because I'm social and going, going, going with my friends. Definitely dehydrated, definitely drinking a sip of water every day, definitely drinking alcohol, not sleeping well, not recovering, not warming up not recover, resting, like anything. And then I roll out of bed, run over to my yoga class, not warmed up at all. No wonder I pulled something, you know what I mean? Same with, same. Oh, I'm just so mad at myself looking back. And the amount of pain I've been in this past week is not worth it. Cause I was just so excited to go to all these workout classes and just like pack my schedule as full as I could. Cause they're classes that I missed and I haven't been to in a minute. But yeah, I really learned my lesson. This is like the second time I've done this now where 
it is not worth it even though I want to have so much fun and like cram in all these classes not prioritizing warming up rest recovery overall health and wellness and just hurting myself is not worth it so what I'm trying to say is basically what happened is I drove back a week ago on the drive back I was like oh my back is like pretty sore like I you know really haven't been sleeping I've been like going crazy in my workout classes not listening to my body so maybe that's why and I got back walked Brody for like an hour it was so nice out and I was like oh yeah my back is kind of bothering me and I think what really did me in you guys is he was almighty got back gave him a bath I was bent over the bathtub like in half for an hour scrubbing him washing him stood back up and I was like Oh my gosh, something is so wrong. And the rest of the night I was hobbling around. I was like, what the heck is going on? I've never been in so much pain. Try to sleep, can barely sleep, wake up. And for like three days in this past week, I did not leave this house and I was miserable. I was hobbling around. I could barely walk Brody, could not bend over, like could barely do anything for myself, didn't get off the couch with a heating pad. And I was like, something is so wrong. This is so bad. And I did this once before where essentially to cut to the chase, What's happened to me before and what happened this time is overuse of my muscles so much so in my lower back They're all strained and pulled where like everything gets kind of locked up I have no range of motion like I couldn't go like this. I couldn't even also to fast forward I ended up going to a physical therapist. Thank God because she's like, okay We're gonna start trying to do this go through exercise with me after she's working with me for a while I'm like I can't even like she's like we're gonna do like kind of RDL modification thing. I'm like, I can't even lean forward. Like I literally couldn't even do like this. Everything I did, like moving my neck, moving my toes would just pull at my back and I was in extreme pain. It was so debilitating and made me so sad and I just didn't feel like myself. And of course, after like one day sitting on the couch not being able to move, I love movement in my everyday life. Clearly signing up for way too many workout classes that I shouldn't be pushing myself that hard. And walking road every day, just everything. So I was literally in a dark place. I know that sounds dramatic, but if any of you have dealt with like chronic pain, injury, I just felt like this was worthwhile to mention because I was so not okay, didn't feel like myself, and that's what happened. So yeah, I was in so much pain. I was taking ibuprofen, I was doing the best I could, but I was like, something is so wrong. This feels awfully familiar. And I did this two years ago after going to Orange Theory every single day not listening to my body you know every the two times i've had this injury there's a couple things in common no rest recovery not listening to my body going to a workout class where music is blaring can't listen to my body when the music is blaring so loud of course a coach or an instructor is like yelling and i'm just so like not in tune with how i'm doing and it's like fun and adrenaline and i'm like flying in there i think what happened before is i was doing like deadlifts in orange theory and immediately i was like whoa something's wrong same kind of thing it took me like a full week or two to like feel better again. I was hobbling around. I didn't even have insurance at the time. Oh my gosh, I didn't even share with you guys in this moment. And I was like paying out of pocket to see this physical therapist. I'm like, I need help. And they're like, yeah, you do. Everything's thrown out of whack. So I was able to see one here and she was like, whoa, <laughs> everything is locked up down there. She was like working with me, heating, doing all this stuff. Gave me, I wanted to show you guys. I wanted this to be quick, seven minutes in. She gave me these lidocaine patches. If any of you have lower back pain, get these. I'm like, I'm not a doctor and get these. Um, I'm gonna get more at CVS because I just used my last one. I kept it on for like 12 hours and I felt like the first day I saw her, I immediately felt so much better. She was like, yes, you need to come back. Everything is messed up and what's gonna help the most is me like working with your lower back because you, it's all locked up, no range of motion, that's the same thing. So that's what I've been dealing with and yeah, not leaving the house for a couple days and being in immense pain, trying to like brush my teeth pour water into my water bottle it was just so bad in the first day max sign away game I was here by myself and we lost power and I was in so much pain and I couldn't move and I couldn't walk Brody and I was like I give up <laughs> I'm done so basically don't be dumb like me I've learned my lesson and I literally was journaling about it this morning I was like damn my sister if you guys know my twin sister Lucy has dealt with a lot of back pain in her life She's very injured from rowing in college and two pretty bad herniated discs. She knows back pain way better than me, even more intense back pain, sciatica, that whole thing. Actually, you know what could probably be a part of this as well is I have not nearly as bad as her, but I feel like I don't know if I've really shared this from rowing as well. I do have a slightly herniated disc, not nearly as bad as Lucy, but I do have one that's like lately. So I just remember years ago when I saw 
back doctor they were like you know what's gonna feel bad is if you are stagnant in your everyday life and sitting at a desk all day and not doing anything but it's also gonna feel bad if you push yourself way too hard and are going back to the three hour a day workouts like you did in rowing that's also gonna feel bad so you gotta find a happy medium I'm like yes sir you got it so that's another reason movement's so important in my life because I do wake up with like a stiff back every day kind of as is but in this past week oh my gosh it's been so hard to get out of bed and I'm finally feeling better doing all my exercises with my physical therapist, my patches, my take it, I'm on my schedule with my ibuprofen to reduce like the inflammation, all that. So oh, that's the update on that. Sorry, I didn't want this to be that long, but that's kind of what I've been dealing with. And again, I just have to say, my heart goes out to you. If you deal, if it's back pain, any kind of chronic pain situation, I honestly cry thinking about it. I just want to hug you because it literally changes you as a person. Me and my sister have talked so much about this. She dealt with chronic pain for a lot longer than me. Obviously mine's very situational. It's not chronic, it's chronic for a week or two. But just any like ongoing situation that you're constantly working at is like debilitating and depressing and makes you like negative and sad and pessimistic. And I'm like, Max, get out of here. Like I'm miserable. I don't even want to be around myself. I don't want you to be around me. I'm just gonna like snap at everything because everything I try to do, I'm in pain. And in like laying there all day on the couch with a heating pad, also makes me in pain because then I'm stiff because I'm not moving but any movement of any kind also makes me in pain because it hurts so I was just like okay this is the season I'm in I gotta just get through this like it's gonna get better this isn't permanent but I have had family members with chronic pain I know and it it's just so hard and I just want to hug all of you because any health things like that it's like I'm like damn I always forget like I just take this for granted until it's your movement is gone and you're in pain and you're just like wow i took this for granted like yesterday a week ago and i'm just so grateful that i'm starting to feel better i was taking my interval but that's that we're doing better i gotta make sure to do my physical therapy stretches and stuff like that today i also have not worked out in over a week because of this i'm going a little stir crazy so i'm thinking maybe later today i will attempt Max's sister Chase, you guys know, is a bar instructor. She does bar classes online on her website. And she does like live ones, but she also has on-demand ones. So I think I want to do one of her on-demand ones where I can kind of modify and focus on like strengthening around my back. That's what I was working on with my physical therapist because she was like, basically from everything that you're telling me, I can tell that your body was very tired when you were in these workout classes. Your form probably wasn't the best by the end. And when all your muscles are tired, your body's going to like overcompensate and going to like use your lower back when it shouldn't be so she's like we're going to do a lot of like deep core strengthening exercises glute hamstring inner thigh that kind of thing so we're not like pulling at your lower back as much so i think that's what i'm going to focus on later today that's that 10 minutes later <laughs> sorry last thing i was going to say i need to eat my oatmeal it's probably cold by now last thing i was going to say is also been an mia because the past couple days i went home to albany i'm going to literally talk about this for 30 seconds because i'm going to cry and i can't think about it went home to albany for a celebration of life to someone close to me, family member, and um, yes, that was a lot. So it's been a lot of, you know, emotional pain, physical pain, and I'm like, I am ready for the sunshine today and springtime to move on, and I've just been in my feels over here. So I was like, I am not bringing my camera. I'm not gonna show going home at all. I need to just like get through this and be there for my friends and my family, and that was that when I was back home. I can't even think about it. I'm gonna start crying. So there's been a lot going on. That's the update on that. Doing better. We're healing. We're grieving. We're moving forward. And that's that. Doing the best I can. I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I'm gonna start crying again. That's why I was like, we're going from sad to sadder so that I don't have to think about that because I've had enough tears the past couple days. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I will catch up with you guys later. I think Max and I are gonna go our plan was i'm like it's so nice out today we have to do like an afternoon coffee day walk with brody so i think that's the plan that's what i'm looking forward to and i'm just going day by day doing the best i can i love you guys i'm gonna give you all a big hug right now especially right now in this moment when i'm feeling sad and alone <laughs> this is my virtual hug to you walking to get our coffee our morning coffee well afternoon afternoon coffee. now <laughs> What a lovely day. It's like 60 degrees. I know. It's so nice. How's practice? Quick. <laughs> Great? Yep. <laughs> Woohoo! Stay. <laughs> Right. 
I got ice vanilla latte, oat milk, light vanilla. Because sometimes I feel like it's a little too sweet, you know? I got hot latte, oat milk, vanilla, and maple syrup. Very sweet. Very good. But yummy. And mine, I tried to get a medium, but look how big this cup is. They're out of medium cups, so they had to put it in a large cup. In a big jug. They probably had to make it a little bit bigger, you know? Um, they probably just put it more right. You're gonna have to help me with this. It's gonna make me okay, anxious. Okay. Yum. Also, I was gonna tell you guys earlier, but what I didn't show you yesterday is I went to Trader Joe's on my way home and, uh, well, on my way from my mom's home in Albany because that's where the Trader Joe's is to here. Had a little Trader Joe's haul moment. I was thinking of it earlier when I was filming eating my breakfast. And then all my fruit right here, flowers. So I'm gonna insert that footage right here since I was like, I gotta film my Trader Joe's haul, but I knew I was gonna film today. So yeah, I'm gonna insert that footage right here. Little Trader Joe's haul. Actually by little, I mean kind of big. <laughs> here we go. Three. I would say. Bags. Yeah, I kind of went a little crazy. Okay, but without further ado, no, that's not what I was trying to say. Without further ado, let's get into it. No, it was insane, but I'll try to keep it brief and concise. Strawberries, raspberries. I'm trying to eat it at home a lot this week, if you can tell, because I got a lot of stuff. Okay. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff like dinners and lunches and stuff. Sorry, I am so tired today. <laughs> I'm not gonna make sense. Eggs, butter. These little mozzarella cheese balls, which go with a certain recipe that Max requested. Hummus, because our other one expired. We got old cheese for like cheese and crackers. We love doing that. Chicken thighs. Wait, did I tell you why I had the idea for dinner tonight? That I saw TikTok? Saw TikTok, uh, chicken thighs and uh, something. Yeah, potatoes and like onions all in a pan. Yeah. I saw another TikTok the other day too. That it was so smart. It was like cut up chicken breast with a bunch of like taco seasoning and onions and bell peppers all mixed together on a pan. And then when it's done, you just put it right into a tortilla and it's a fajita and you can add sour cream or guac or whatever. Wow. And that's like so quick and easy, you know? I'm into this one cheat pan stuff. Anyway, she did like plain chicken thighs and just did like olive oil and seasonings. But then I found savory herb chicken thighs that are like marinated, so I just got these. Yeah, I thought good. that would be good. And we can throw some like potatoes and onions in there, so that's for tonight. I also got ground beef, because we keep talking about how I used to do the homemade bolognese now. So I thought we could one night this week. Because I miss making my homemade, so I got for that like we really need to eat at home because I got a lot of like produce and like meat and stuff Greek yogurt okay now you can tell well kind of yeah I don't actually request it that TikTok Trader Joe's pizza if you guys have seen that it kind of like went viral I feel like it's all over or if you saw when we made it before you do like charcuterie meat on top it's like this garlic herb dough you do like this hot pepper spread from there this garlic spread we already have that and you do like burrata, you do this, you do arugula, so I got all the stuff for that. Because Max loved it before and requested goat cheese for this other kale salad I make. Caramelized onion dip, the best thing ever. This stuff, literally could eat the whole container in one sitting. It's so good, it's obviously addicting. And then I got spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. One of my faves of all time. And this, I've never tried and I thought I'd try it. Sweet Italian style. Yeah, because I always just get the jalapeno, but that was really good too. I got two things of kale. I don't know where the other one is. For two different kinds of kale. Salad I make. Maybe spinach for like eggs, smoothies, basil. See, I should like plan down when I'm actually going to make all these things because these are like all my favorite meals I make. But do I even have enough time to make them all this week before stuff goes bad? I don't know. I feel like that's my talk to trait. Basil. To do with like burrata, prosciutto, ciabatta roll, balsamic glaze. Mwah, tomato. Milk. I love that type of stuff. Lemon. I like to do lemon on my avocado toast, my water. Chocolate chips. Someone DM me that they were making my banana bread that I would make like every day during COVID. And it made me think I want to make that. And so I got chocolate chips. <laughs> to hopefully make that. 
more of my favorite crackers, the fig and olive kinds. If you know, you know. See what oranges, I'm so excited. Olive oil. We are running very low on that. Onion to do with my chicken thigh situation I was talking about tonight. Some potatoes to go with that as well. Apples to go. And one of my favorite kale salads. I need to show you guys like cooking more, like my favorite things. I think like I used to show that in vlogs way more. Like my favorite smoothie recipe at the moment or like my breakfast my avocado toast, but I feel like sometimes it gets so redundant. Like I show that same avocado toast over there, like so they would care. But yeah, I feel like I love when I get into new recipes, so I gotta share with you guys. A tomato. I feel like a caprese panini situation. Prosciutto. The best thing ever. The most green bananas, because they are all very green. <laughs> Arugula. Pizza. Burrata. I like how I'm saying what every single thing is for. I said I was going to be brief. Cottage cheese. No explanation. No, the explanation is I'm trying to eat more protein. You just feel better, and I can get really bad with that. So, cottage cheese. Broccoli. Yeah. Max also requested his favorite mandarin orange chicken. This stuff is so good and like crispy with like the sauce and stuff. Then I got, oh, what? Thank you. Welcome. Oh shoot, this I put like in the middle. It probably got squished. I got salmon, cause they had good like fresh kind of salmon. And I like doing that on like a kale salad. You think it's okay if it got kind of squished in the bag? Yeah, I don't know why I feel like, I don't want to see like smashed. Anyway, yeah, so I really have to like cook all of this every day cause I feel like that's totally last a couple days. Here's the other bag of kale. Why did I take these things? I want to have words. Oh, like to snack with the hummus. Also, I put it in my homemade bowls. So good. Avocados for avocado toast. Also, raw card as usual. I feel like at Trader Joe's, they are. Last but certainly not least, Max, listen up. This is about to be your new favorite thing. Okay, so when I was just with Lucy, she had me try these Brookie Caramel Candy Clusters. They are like the best things I ever ate. Oh my gosh, they are so good. It almost tastes like a little like chocolate caramel pretzel thing, but it says cho thing. what? Thing. Yeah, chocolate chip cookie pieces, crispy brownie pieces, dark chocolate, sea salt, kettle cooked caramel. Oh my gosh, these are so good. The guy that was helping me bag up everything was like, have you tried these before? I'm like, yeah, my sister had me try, and they're insane. He's like, yeah, I'm obsessed. So good. I guess it's like this new thing. So try this at Trader Joe's. This is the most important of everything I just showed, but okay, now it's seven minutes later. There is the haul, you guys. This view of everything always kind of freaks me out. Like, it's always more than you think, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> it's later. I'm going to attempt a little chase bar workout, but first I'm going to do... Some of my exercises. I also put on my pink sports bra that goes with the leggings I got. Okay, first up, <laughs> tutorial on how to <laughs> ease your back pain, your <laughs> back pain. This is Lucy's and my like bread and butter always as like a warm up. I couldn't do these <laughs> a couple days ago. I had to do kind of like modified elevated, like I put my arms up on something, like standing up, and I would try to do cat and cow like standing because doing it on all fours is like too kind of intense, but now I think I can handle it. So you just do some of this. I'm actually shocked my back can handle this right now. This kind of warm it up. Oh, this is the cat, right? Yeah, this is the cow. Or cat camel, I think some people call it. Uh, inhale, exhale, all that type of good stuff stretch okay also another thing we are working on i don't even know where my roller is it'd be good on a roller i've done it before maybe i'll just do it on my back because i don't know if i could do it like on all fours i think i was on my side and she was kind of holding my back in place and i was just reaching like this oh no wait she was holding my back yeah i was reaching with the top arm like this to kind of help with like Range of motion. Wow, I'm actually very impressed because I was stuck like here the other day, but I can like open it up. 
a lot more. It's just like a good little warm up. Thank you guys for doing these PT exercises with me. And definitely my lower left back was the issue. Um, so it's just interesting how like the different sides are different based on if it's like pulling or compressing. Another thing, I can actually do this standing up now. The other day I couldn't. Just kind of like side to side reach. Kind of is like stretching and compressing the lower back. Yeah, my range of motion is looking so much better. Now I can bend down. I say I wish you guys could see. No, I'm happy you didn't see. I was in so much pain. I literally couldn't like lean forward. Like I just felt like I was like stuck at every moment and in instance. Oh, it still feels like a deep stretch though. It feels very kind of cranky. It kind of feels like a bruise back there now. What else did she have me do? Like pelvic tilts. She calls them where you just like, like I said, like engage your deep core and relax. I'm like, wait, how do I even do this? She's like, pretend like you're like coughing, like, <laughs> and it kind of like contracts your stomach. You do that. Do some of that. Um, like mini like glute bridge things. Cause she was like, engage your glutes. And I'm like, I literally can't unless I like lift them up a little bit. So again, that's going to help just like the lower back. Like I'm teaching you, you guys are like, we don't care. Anyway, that type of stuff. And then I don't even have a ball. I gotta get a pillow or something, put it in between my knees and do all of that together and that just gets kind of like inner thigh okay here i go I'm gonna try my best with a little chase bar movement let you guys know how it goes <laughs> guys what are you supposed to do when you want to go on a walk a walk outside do you want to go on a walk brody Lazy. brody oh oh Lazy. <laughs> when you want to go on a walk with your doggy, except he sleeps and he's very lazy. He's up. Give he's me up. Idea. He's up. He's up. Oh, <laughs> Don't show mine. Mine's embarrassing. <laughs> your dinner looks sad compared to mine. It is a little sad, isn't it? <laughs> well, I made literally so much salad. You can have some, but you don't no, want any. No. No. Max, don't be, you. No, I actually didn't want any you salad. Told me you didn't. And I had a chicken front sub and a slice of pizza before. Yeah, so he kind of already had pre dinner. Oh, we're mushing it all up. Okay. Okay. You worry about your <laughs> dish over here, would you? Made salmon, yummiest salmon ever. We do like all this seasoning and like brown sugar maple syrup. And I always do it on a. Oh my god. Having to <laughs> You always Delish. do a kale salad with a bunch of balsamic. These like mini sweet peppers cut up and then next some more rice. So I just put that on the side. It's gonna be so good. Okay, no, no. You were doing that yesterday. It was driving me up a wall. <laughs> Coming back on. <laughs> after this, know, after this commercial. <laughs> Coming back on. You guys. <laughs> Today's not the day, guys. <laughs> Here we go, get ready. That commercial is illegal. Oh my gosh. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is after dinner I realized Bachelor Monday, I've been behind the whole season, so I haven't been able to watch in real time, but I remembered it's Monday and that I can watch in real time starting today because now I'm caught up. Okay, now it's back on. I'll explain on the next commercial why. Okay. I don't see no more tears, except there was more tears because Kelsey's hometown sad. Why are you yawning? I had a yawn. That was a fake yawn. Well, because I was holding it in and then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you went... Mm. <laughs> but that was sad because the whole time they talked about oh she lost her mom and I'm like oh, not today. I was just crying. I can't. But yeah, basically I was crying at the beginning of the last clip because it's the saddest commercial ever. Kia? Kia. The key commercial. It was also at the Super Bowl. If you mm. know, you know. I didn't see it at the Super Bowl. But I just saw it just now. And it was really sweet and really sad. But anyway, uh, my day is made that I realized that Bachelor's on and that we got to watch in real time because, like I said, we finally caught up. And it's hometowns. And I'm so excited to see the other ones. And I wish that we didn't have to wait 
the weeks for like I want to watch the next one after the this. fantasy yeah. tomorrow, and then I want to watch or maybe it's Women Tell Tell All then Fantasy then finale. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is there a Women Tell All? I forgot about that. But then that's always good. But then you're like, Which oh, I gotta wait another week. All? They when all they come all back? yeah, when they all sit like talk show what? style and like, talk. Oh. And all the tea is like yeah. aired out. Oh, wait drama. till wait till uh, Jess Jess comes back. Mm-hmm. When she got her little smoky poe first <laughs> night. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> That's your favorite line. Little smoky poe. <laughs> Can I get a little smoky poe first night? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go, Daisy. Woo. Baby, you, Daisy. Mm-mm. I know you guys thought earlier. Joey, My Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna try that. Okay. Cool. So good. So I'm just kind of seeing like if it's somebody that they think I could spend forever with. What are you guys all doing? Okay, spoiler. Spoiler. If you're behind, don't watch this part, but... Wow. Are you shook? Are you shook? Wow. She just told him she's a Yeah, well, that was a waste. What was a waste? Her saying that? Yeah. Oh. Why did he ask the dad for permission to marry her then? I could tell he wasn't feeling it. I said that in her hometown, I could tell. Yeah. She was my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad. She I'm needs to be the next bachelor. She like, needs to be the next bachelor. Not much I can say. I'm um, so mad. You know, a bumpy road. It, you know, I've fought for you every time, and I've chosen us, and I've tried everything in my power. I think he gave up. Mm -hmm. And I went into hey, man. with you very open and, and ready to see what came yeah. next. And Sorry. You said everything I needed to hear. Focus. Yeah. <laughs> It's the next morning and I just watched the last clip from last night. I'm like, where did I end off? And I am laughing looking at that because Max was so into it. He, his eyes were like glued to the TV and I was so upset about Maria. We were like, please say Maria's name, please say Maria's name. And he's like, Rachel. And I was like, no, because I'm just so sad for her. But deep down, sorry, this is like such spoiler if you're behind, but I did warn you in that clip. I'm like, shut it off right now if you don't want to hear. Um, which I so feel for you if you're behind and you see spoilers because that was me all season trying to catch up on Hulu and then I would see a TikTok and it would be like about Jen going home and I'm like, no, I didn't get there yet. But anyway, I have so many thoughts. Okay, first of all, Maria has been my fave the whole time. I love her, but I just felt like towards the end, I feel like their relationship wasn't progressing or they just, I don't know, it's hard because you obviously don't see like the whole conversation that, that they have. I feel like they edit out probably good stuff. I forget, maybe it was a What We Said podcast that I listened to that I love, or is it somewhere else? Maybe a TikTok that was saying, no, I'm pretty, I am all over the place right now. I just have so many thoughts and it's hard to organize <laughs> them, sorry. Or maybe Max and I were just saying this in a conversation. I never remember where these thoughts come from. Okay, that basically, I feel like in these seasons now, they just push them to open up and share something deep to try to like connect really quick, which like, okay, I guess you only have a certain amount of weeks, you have to connect quickly. So we have to kind of be like, okay, this is like how I grew up. These are my past relationships. Here's hard things that I went through, like fine. But then I feel like that's all they show on TV is for their conversations. It's like, here's something really hard I went through. And then it just feels almost fake because every single conversation he has with all of them is, him saying, take your time, it's okay, and them starting to tear up, and him like wiping their tears. And it just feels like, I don't know, you know, like he's very sweet and a good listener, and I feel like he's been trained. <laughs> I feel like he's had, I don't know, he has good like emotional intelligence, and he's like so good with all the girls when they're opening up about her things. But it just almost feels, I don't know, like I just wanna see like normal progression of a relationship, and that's why like Maria, like it felt more real with him. Like they would just goof around and, her first conversation was with him was like, do you like scary movies? Just seemed more like normal. And other girls, like the first time they meet him, they're like, so you're gonna be my future husband. It just seems so like, I don't know. Does anyone else know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, so that's my one issue with Bachelor is I want them to just show like more real normal stuff too. Like obviously show when they talk about if they could see being together and like, you know, with Daisy, I feel like they talked about names of their kids. Like yeah, that's cute. But then I don't know, sometimes it just feels forced to open up. You know what I mean? Anyway. 
Murray's My Fave show has just seemed so real and fun and like charismatic and I've been rooting for her the whole time but a part of me in the back of my head has been like she would be such a good bachelorette that I almost don't want her to win because I want to be the bachelorette. So that was a silver lining that she went home last night because I really hope she's the next bachelorette but I feel like some people don't think she will be but I really want her to be. I would just love that. I feel like she would have the best season ever so that's my thought on that i'm team daisy i've always loved her my only thing is daisy and him seem the most like similar sorry this is like all my thoughts right here i feel like they're both very like mellow so i feel like they vibe in that way because they're so similar but then i almost liked him with maria or i feel like rachel's kind of mellow too i feel like i've seen less of their relationship i feel like they haven't shown their relationship that much so i've always felt like they show more of kelsey and daisy i feel Water. I feel like I've seen that Kelsey has one and then I feel like I've also seen that Daisy has one So I don't know which is which Kelsey. I don't know. I don't know I just feel like I've seen it more with Daisy. I feel like they click but I almost feel like they're too similar Like I liked someone more spunky to like bring out fun in him because I feel like he can be very like calm and monotone I feel like Daisy's very calm too, but anyway, I just love Daisy. I think she's an angel I think she's so sweet. So I'm rooting for her and then lastly my last thought <laughs> Four minutes later just wanted to end this off quick, but my tip for you if you want your boyfriend or your husband or your fiance to watch with you. I always liked watching on my own and like with the girls and stuff like I didn't care. But then now that I live with Max and stuff, I'm like, oh, it'd be fun if we watch together. But I'm like, honestly, it's fine. Like he has, he watches a golf YouTube channel. I'll watch like Selling Sunset on my own. Like we have our own shows. But I'm like, this would be fun if we watch together. And one night I literally was like, this wasn't even on purpose, but this is my sneaky tip to you. One night I was like, I'm just going to put it on and watch. It feels so fun to like have my show. I'm getting my little snack and I'm going to watch. And he was like, okay, I'll come sit on the couch with you. Like, I'm just going to put in my headphones and probably watch my golf YouTube channel, whatever. And I was thinking in my head, I'm like, if I turn this on right now, he's going to get sucked into the drama and watch with me. He got sucked right in, didn't even put in his headphones or watch his video. And he watched with me the whole time. And I was like, oh my God, this is so aggravating. I'm like, he's into it. And every single week he's been watching with me or when we've been behind catching up and like last night. And I feel like he's all into to the drama and stuff as well and loves it so I feel like boys secretly love it just so my tip to you is to put it on the TV when they're around and they're gonna be like what is that and they're gonna be like listening and be drawn in <laughs> if you want to manipulate them into watching with you <laughs> no but good morning goodbye this is literally the longest vlog ever sorry I, I I was like, The Bachelor's so fake. Them being forced to open up with you. In this vlog, I'm like, I'm opening up with you. This is what I've been going through. But also update on that from, you know, 24 hours later is I just have to say that, sorry, I was talking about being a pain in my back for so long and stuff. But if anyone was wondering how my first workout back went yesterday, I was very mindful. I was trying to like engage my core, you know, have the pelvic tilt like in the right way to not put too much strain in my lower back engage my glutes stuff like that the whole time modified some exercises went a little bit slower and it was so good it felt so good to be back and i just have this renewed sense of well-being a renewed sense of importance of like taking care of myself and it feels really nice like i went on a really long walk with Brody this morning and i was stretching before and after doing like the core glute exercises so that's my new era that i'm in is pt exercises and like listening to my body and wellness and stuff when i'm gonna stop here i'm talking so long love you thank you so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye